My name is Adelia Day, and I am a theatre maker, actor, spoken word artiste, and projection mapper. I love playing with projections. I trained at Lecoq in Paris, which is a physical theatre school. They're all about just using your body. You don't need lights or sound, it's just your body and how it affects the space, chorus work, everything. It's gorgeous. Lecoq is all about play and having projections. It's like an extra actor to play with. Uh, these are just my moves. <laughs> and often the simplest things are the most fun. So, in Super Hamlet 64, for example, I filmed this section where I'm playing my ukulele and I fire uh, portals, like in the game, portal out of my ukulele. And then I stick my hand through, and my hand comes through the other portal, and I stick my head through, and my head I jump through, and uh, I start chasing myself. It's this really fun section, and it was so simple. Um, my next show was Too Pretty to Punch, which is a show all about transphobia in the media. Uh, social media, news media, all media, too much transphobia. And uh, I just, I did an, uh, um, a scratch performance at Camden People's Theatre and I just tried stuff out. I got uh, the gender symbols and turned them into Powerpuff Girls type characters and then projected them onto my banjo while I was playing. And uh, it was just gorgeous. And that bit didn't end up in the show. The characters did, but the banjo just didn't work. But it's just so much fun to play with. And I had tweets exploding out of my laptop with angry messages on them. There's a section where I walk off stage and then a projected version of me walks into like a projection of a trashy magazine um, and all the characters in the magazine pop out and start singing about how my fashion sense isn't good enough to be a woman. Um, yeah, so many cool things. It's just become a playground for me now. Another thing is Spectacular Space Spots, which is the latest show I've been developing, which is a kid's show about an autistic robot who goes on space adventures. Um, and I've been playing with puppeteering animated characters using video game controllers. Uh, and it works and it's delightful. And when I set the actors, I was hiring actors and I set them off. I just went to sort some stuff out when I came back. They were playing with them and doing these fun characters and it was so gorgeous. I was like, yes, it works. Um, and I do workshops with kids as well, playing with that stuff. Uh, and it's just joyous. I love it so much. And what do I use for this, you ask? Here's Adora is so brilliantly accessible and user-friendly. I love it. You just drag and drop your media in, cut it into little shapes, and then move those shapes onto the thing. You have your projector connected and you move them onto whatever you're projecting onto, and voila! People are always like, wow, how many projectors did you use to create all those different things? I imagine at least four. Nope, one projector. Uh, that's the skill of projection mapping because it projects this one beam that covers everything and then you just cut things out and go, I want that bit there, I want that bit there, and nothing in the middle. And people are like, there must be two projectors, but there is one. It's magic. My school was on the rural touring circuit around Wiltshire when I was young and theatre companies would come and perform there and that's where my joy of acting and performance was born. And Sometimes I perform in huge theatres, sometimes I make theatre for tiny theatres, but that's where my love is, small scale touring. And recently I've started doing rural touring, which I've been wanting to do for ages, and it's really magical. Having this high tech setup, very relatively simply, and people come and they don't expect their library hall to be transformed into this place with these gorgeous projections, if I do say so myself. And that magic in a space is one of the things that gives me the most joy about making theatre.